Hi everyone, in this video I will discuss how to convert a sorted linked list to a balanced binary search tree. So we are given the head of a sorted linked list and we need to create a balanced binary search tree from it. So a balanced or a height balanced BST is a tree in which the depth of two subtrees of every node differ by max 1. So the difference between the height of the left subtree and the right subtree is maximum 1. If that property is true for every node of the tree, then we say that the tree is height balanced. Let's see an example. So we have this linked list which is sorted and we need to create a balanced binary search tree from it. So we know that in BST, the left subtree is smaller than root and the right subtree is greater than root. So this property is true for any BST. Now we also want to make it height balanced. So one thing is very obvious that half of these nodes will come on the left side and half would come on the right side. So one of the BSTs that can be created from this linked list is rooted at 44. So we can see here that for each node, left subtree is smaller and right subtree is greater. So for 22, 11 is smaller, 33 is greater. For 44, this entire subtree is smaller and this entire subtree has values which are greater than 44. And the difference in height for each of the nodes is maximum 1. Now there can be multiple BSTs which can be created from this linked list. So one of the BSTs that can be created from this linked list is rooted at 55. So we can create any BST which is height balanced from this linked list. Now there are various methods to solve this. In this video I will focus on two methods. Let's start with the first method. So in the first method, what we can do is convert this linked list into an array. So once we have an array from this linked list, then it becomes converted to the question sorted array to balanced binary search tree. So this problem I have already explained in my previous videos that how we can convert a sorted array to a balanced BST. I will link that video in the top right corner and in the description. The problem with this method is that interviewer has given you a sorted linked list. But when you convert the linked list to an array, then this defeats the whole purpose of giving linked list in the problem statement. So that is why you can just point that this can be a solution, but most of the times this solution will not be accepted. So you will have to see the solution number two. Now let's look at the second method by which we can solve this. So we know few properties of a BST that root is greater than the left subtree and it is less than the right subtree. Also we know that in order traversal of a BST gives nodes in ascending order. So if we know these two properties of a BST then we can leverage this and try to solve this problem. So the first node of the linked list will be the first node in the in order traversal because in order traversal also gives the ascending order. So this 11 will be the first node in in order traversal. Basically if we do the in order traversal of the tree, we should get the same order as is present in the linked list. So one by one, we'll pick nodes from the linked list and create the tree in in order manner. Let's have a look at the algorithm. So first we need to find the length of the linked list. So length here is eight. So we have eight nodes in the linked list. So length is eight. Then we call this function construct and pass it start and end. So start is zero and end in this case is 7 because length minus 1 is 7. So first we check if start is greater than end. So this is not true. Then we compute midpoint. So midpoint is 0 plus 7 by 2 
so it becomes 3. So then we call this construct function and pass it the parameters 0 and 2. So let's write down all the calls that we'll have here. So from construct 0, 7, we called this function construct 0, 2. So start is 0, end is 2. Then we again compute the midpoint. So midpoint is 1. And then we call this construct function with the parameters 0, 0. So now start is 0 and end is also 0. So the midpoint becomes 0. And then we call the construct for 0, minus 1. So for this function call, when start is 0, end is minus 1, we come in this if statement. So now start is greater than end, so we return null. So this function call returns null. So which means that the value of left at construct 0, 0 is null. So left here is null. Now we create a new node with the value of head head is 11 so we create a new tree node with the value 11 and we are doing node left equal to left which means left of this node is null and then we move head to the next pointer so head comes at 22 and then we call this function node write for construct mid plus 1 and end so we are calling this function mid plus 1 is 1 and end is 0. So now we call this function for 1 comma 0. So we again come here if start is greater than end. So it will return null. So right of this node is also null. And then we return node to the calling function. So basically this construct 0 0 will return the node 11 to the calling function. So now we come to construct 0 comma 2. So left is pointing to 11 we create a new node with the value of head which is 22 and then we assign left of that node to 11 so left of 22 becomes 11 and then we point head to the next node so head comes at 33 and then we call construct mid plus 1 which is 2 and end is also 2 so now we call construct 2 comma 2 so from this function construct 0 comma 2 we call function construct 2 comma 2 so now we compute the midpoint so midpoint becomes 2 so now we call this function construct with the parameters 2 comma 1 so for construct 2 comma 1 start is greater than end so this will return null so this means left is null so now we create a new tree node with the value 33. So left of 33 is null. And then we move head to the next pointer. So head comes at 44. And then we call construct mid plus 1 which is 3 and end is 2. So, so now again start is greater than end. So this will also return null. So right of 33 is also null. So this function call ends. And this will return 33 to the call construct 0 comma 2 which means 33 becomes right of 22 and now we return this node 22 to the call construct 0 comma 7 so start is 0 end is 7 and left is pointing to 22 so now we create a new tree node with the value of head which is 44 so left of 44 becomes 22 and then we move head to the next node so head comes at 55 and then we call this construct function with the parameters so mid plus 1 is 4 and end is 7 so from this function call we call construct 4 comma 7 we compute the midpoint so midpoint is 11 by 2 which is 5 so we call construct function with the parameters 4 comma 4. So midpoint is 4. Then we call the function construct with the parameters 4 comma 3. So now start is greater than end which means this will return null. 
so then we create a node of value head so we creating the node 55 so left of 55 is null and then we move head to the next node so head comes at 66 and we call the construct function with the parameters 5 comma 4 which means right of 55 is also null so we return the node 55 to the calling function so this function will return node 55 so left is 55 then we create a new tree node with the value of head which is 66 so left of 66 becomes 55 and then we move head to the next pointer so head comes at 77 and then we call the construct function for mid plus 1 which is 6 and end is 7 so from construct 4 comma 7 we call this function construct 6 comma 7 so start is 6 now and end is 7 midpoint becomes 13 by 2 which is 6 and we call this function construct with the parameters 6 and 5 so start is greater than end so this will return null so left becomes null and then we create a new tree node with the value head which is 77 so left of 77 becomes null and we move head to the next pointer so head comes at 88 we call the construct function with the parameters 7 comma 7 so from this 6 comma 7 we call construct 7 comma 7 so the midpoint is again 7 and then we call the function construct with the parameters 7 comma 6 so start is greater than end so left becomes null we create a new tree node with the value of 88 so left of 88 becomes null we move head to the next pointer so head also becomes null we call the construct function with the parameters 8 comma 7 so right of 88 also becomes null and we return the value 88 to the calling node so we return 88 here so this means 88 becomes right of 77 then we return 77 here which means 77 becomes right of 66 and then we return 66 here which means 66 becomes right of 44 so this is the bst that we created from this sorted link list and this is also balanced so we traversed the link list starting from the head and constructed this tree in the in order manner so how we are ensuring that this is balanced is because each time we are computing the midpoint so midpoint is start plus end by 2 so to make a tree balanced half of the node should come on the left side and half of the node should come in the right side so there can be difference of one but that can be the maximum difference between the height of the left and the right subtree if we look at the complexity here so the time complexity is order of n because we are traversing the list only once and the space complexity is order of log n which can be the height of the tree because that will be the maximum depth of the recursion so once you've understood this method let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of which is present here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i first i create the link list which i've shown in the left side then i call this function sorted list to bst in which i pass the head of the link list in this function first i compute the length once I have the length, I call this construct function with the parameters head, a start node which is 0 and the end node is at length minus 1. In this function construct, I check the condition start is greater than end, then I return null, then I compute the midpoint and then I call the construct function to go till the leftmost node. So I call construct head start mid minus 1. Once I've reached the leftmost node, then I create that node and I assign it to the left of node. I move the head to the next pointer and I do the same process for the right of the node. So once this function ends, this will return me the root of the tree and then I print the in order traversal and the pre order traversal of the tree in the main function. Let's see the output of this program. So the in order traversal gives me the ascending order 
and the pre-order traversal gives me the order root left right so root is at 44 then we go to 22 11 33 66 55 77 and 88 now this problem is also available on lead code as question number 109 convert sorted list to binary search tree i pasted the same code here and it is success so that was all for this video if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave in the comment section below if you like my content please do like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off